Hello and welcome to Storytime and Craft. Today's story is the ox cart man. So let's read it together and then we'll make an ox cart. The Ox Cart Man by Donald Hall. Pictures by Barbara Cooney. In October, the ox cart man backed his ox into his cart and he and his family filled it up with everything they made or grew all year long that was left over. He packed a bag of wool he sheared from the sheep in April. He packed a shawl his, his wife wove on a loom from yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep sheared in April. He packed five pairs of mittens his daughter knit from yarn spun at the spinning wheel, from sheep sheared in April. He packed candles the family made. He packed linen made from flax they grew. He packed shingles he split himself. He packed birch brooms his son carved with a borrowed kitchen knife. He packed potatoes they dug from their garden, but first he counted out potatoes enough to eat all winter and potatoes for next spring for planting. He packed a barrel of apples, honey, and honeycombs, turnips and cabbages, a wooden box of maple sugar from the maples they tapped in March when they boiled and boiled and boiled the sap away. He packed a bag of goose feathers that his children collected from the barnyard geese. When his cart was full, he waved goodbye to his wife, his daughter, and his son, and he walked at his ox's head for 10 days, over hills, through valleys, by streams, past farms and villages. Until he came to Portsmouth and Portsmouth Market. He sold the bag of wool. He sold the shawl his wife made. He sold five pairs of mittens. He sold candles and shingles. He sold birch brooms. He sold potatoes. He sold apples. He sold honey and honeycombs, turnips and cabbages. He sold maple sugar and he sold a bag of goose feathers. Then he sold the wooden box he carried the maple sugar in. Then he sold the barrel he carried the apples in. Then he sold the bag that he carried the potatoes in. And then he sold his ox cart. Then he sold his ox and he kissed him goodbye on his nose. Then he sold his ox's yoke and harness. With his pockets full of coins, he walked through Portsmouth Market. He bought an iron kettle to hang over the fire at home. And for his daughter, he bought an embroidery needle that came from a boat in the harbor that had sailed all the way from England. And for his son, he bought a barlow knife for carving birch brooms with. And for the whole family, he bought two pounds of wintergreen peppermint candies. Then he walked home with the needle and the knife and the wintergreen peppermint candies tucked into the kettle and a stick over his shoulder stuck through the kettle's handle and coins still in his pockets. Past farms and villages, over hills, through valleys, by streams, until he came to his farm and his son, his daughter, and his wife were waiting for him.
And his daughter took her needle and began stitching. And his son took his barlow knife and started whittling. And they cooked dinner in their new kettle. And afterward, everyone ate a wintergreen peppermint candy. And that night, the ox cart man sat in front of his fire, stitching new harness for the young ox in the barn. The end. Well, wow, that family was so busy all throughout the whole year. And in the fall of the year, they loaded that ox cart and took all the things they'd made or grown to the market to sell. Well, we're going to head over to the art table and we're going to make our very own ox cart wagon. So come on, let's go. Okay, so we're going to make an ox cart for our craft today. I just have a little small box and then I have some wheels and I'll put the link below so that you can get a copy of these little wagon wheels. You can cut those out and you can glue or tape them to the box like this. Two on this side and two on the other side and then we're going to make a covered uh, part on the top. So I just have a piece of white paper and then I am going to make some stripes on my wagon and you can decorate your wagon however you'd like to. But I'm just making two red stripes on the top. Okay, now I'm going to put this on the wagon. So I'll bring it back over. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see that I'm gonna take this inside the box. Just like that. And then I'm going to just bend over the piece of paper and I'm going to tape it to the other side. I'm going to reach in and tape it from the inside, but you could re you could tape it from the outside too. So there you have it. There's just one more thing I want to add. I'm going to put a little string on this side, and that way I can pull the ox cart along. So that was our art project for today. We made our very own little covered wagon like the ox cart in the story. Well, that was a really fun story and I think this is a really fun craft. Hopefully you can put some things inside your own covered wagon. I'll see you next time for Storytime and Craft.